What's up, guys? How's it going today? This is DJ Soul Force. I'm back at the desk, and we're going to do a quick look at uh, the SEMA X8C. This is a look back, or an update, as you would, with my X8C. I've had it a while. I, I think I bought this one back in June. So I pretty much flew this all summer long. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how well it's doing. I don't like to review quads that are brand new right out of the box. You, you want to hear about them uh, after you've flown them a while. They all fly pretty good out of the box. How does it handle and perform after, uh, let's say, flight number 20, flight 30, flight number 35? <laughs> With this guy, I, I didn't count the flights. I didn't keep a log on it, but... I bought this quadcopter around the end of June, 1st of July, and I've done some flying with it. Uh, you've seen the videos in the past. I had the prop guards on. I've taken the prop guards off. I put the SJ4000 cam on it. I put the run cam on it. And now my go-to camera for this quadcopter is the 808 keychain camera. I do have a uh, homemade anti-shock device that I use when flying this quad lately the jello started creeping back on me so i've done another slight modification on the quadcopter and this is one that i learned from watching a, a channel from a buddy of mine cockpit view 777 suggested that after a while the sema xac uh, will develop play or space between the propellers and the motor mount of course, if there's any movement or free movement in your propellers, that's going to generate jello. What Cockpit did, he suggested add another washer. Under these propellers is a metal washer that fits right inside the, uh, the shaft. There was just enough room in there to add a second washer. And these are real tiny washers and they're very flat. And the first thing I, you think of, uh, where am I going to find a washer at that same size? And Cockpit, thanks a lot. He had a brilliant idea. Take the washer from your spare props, because the SEMA X8C does come with a, a spare set of props, and double up on the washers, and that will take that play away. And now the props fit pretty tight. And I took it out and shot some video again with the... Uh, with the 808 keychain camera and it came out pretty good so we're going to take a look at that video and I do want to report that I've, I've, I've flown this quadcopter all summer long and it still has all the original parts on it when I bought this XHC I ordered four extra motors and haven't had to change one of them out yet so the 808 keychain camera is a perfect fit for it uh, my XAC is still flying well. I haven't had to change any motors motors out yet. Uh, still a jello maker, but I don't really fly this around to shoot aerial videos. I, I like flying this one just for the fun of it. Very fun quadcopters to fly. Uh, the prices are dropping on these, so <laughs> I'm hoping they just start selling the quad by itself, a bind and fly version, because uh, I, I got enough transmitters i don't need a transmitter but if the prices keep dropping i'm gonna buy another one and put it away and just save it for when this one falls apart i plan on flying this one until the props fall off <laughs> let's take a look at that video